Hi! Today we will be learning about qualifying adjectives. Gli aggettivi qualificativi. What are they? Qualifying adjectives are words which are used to describe names of people, persone, animals, animali, or things. Cose. In grammar, these are called nouns, i nomi. Let's look at some examples. A blonde girl. A is an indefinite article. Blonde is a qualifying adjective. And girl is a noun. In Italian we say una ragazza bionda. Let's see what each of these words are. Una is the indefinite article, l'articolo indeterminativo. Ragazza is the noun, il nome. And bionda is the qualifying adjective, l'aggettivo qualificativo. Now let's point out uh, the differences. Blonde, the adjective in English, is placed before the noun whilst in Italian, in most cases, is placed after the noun, ragazza bionda. As you can see, bionda, the adjective, is at the very end. Let's look at more examples. Un gatto nero, a black cat. Here again, the adjective is placed after the noun. Instead, in English, black is placed before. It is very important that in Italian, articles, nouns and adjectives are all linked together. In this instance, they are all masculine singular. Italian language has considerably less words than English, so often the meaning is conveyed through the structure of the sentences. So now we will look at those instances where we use the adjective before the noun, just like in English. When you do so, you change the meaning of the sentence. This is because in Italian we tend to focus on the very last word. In this example, un cattivo re, the last word is re which means king. So anything we place before re, king, describe how the king is, not as a person, but as a leader, as a re. Is he a good or a bad leader? Well, cattivo means bad, so he's obviously not a good leader. He may be a good person, but not a capable king. In the second sentence, un re cattivo, the last word is cattivo, bad. Therefore, the fact that he is bad becomes more important than the fact that he is a king. In this instance, it's the quality of the person we are describing rather than his attitude towards his role. So cattivo no longer means bad, it means evil. Un re cattivo translates with an evil king. Let's look at one more example. Una bella bambina. A beautiful girl. The last word of the sentence is bambina. Therefore, we're talking about a girl. The adjective we use to describe her, bella, beautiful, is placed before the noun. It means we are talking about one of the many qualities of the girl. In the second sentence, 
Una bambina bella. The focus is on bella, the adjective. Therefore, we're talking about beauty, not just as a mere description, but as an absolute quality, which determines the girl as a whole. Adjectives answer to the question, how? How is it? How is she? How is him? In Italian, we ask, com'è? How is the cake? Com'è la torta? È buona! It's delicious! Com'è la ragazza? È bionda! She is blonde! Com'è il gatto? È nero! He is black! Now we are going to look at some of the adjectives. Grande Big Piccolo Piccola Small Alto Alta Tall Basso Bassa Short As you can see, all of these adjectives have a masculine and a feminine, all except for grande. Grande is a neutral adjective. Now we will practice by putting everything together within a sentence. Com'è la casa? La casa è grande. The house is big. Com'è la chiave? La chiave è piccola. The key is small. The adjective grande is a neutral adjective. It means it's neither masculine or feminine. And its ending never changes. Chiave also has a different ending. It's called an exception. However, it is a feminine singular word. Let's look at some plurals. Come sono gli alberi? Gli alberi sono alti. The trees are tall. Come sono le corde? Le corde sono corte. The ropes are short. You are now ready to start practicing the use of qualifying adjectives in Italian. Gli aggettivi qualificativi. And I'll see you next time for more Italian together.